Good afternoon, everyone. Good day to everyone. Welcome to Virtual Education Higher Education Fair 2021. And we are now here at webinar for technology that works for you. So without much ado, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Randy Weissensai from Wesleyan University, Philippines. And I'm going to be your moderator for today. And to, for me to introduce the first speaker, we're going to have Ms. Joanna Hanak from Poland, specifically representing Silesian University of Technology. Please take the floor. Hello, everyone. And let me uh, share the screen with you so uh, I can present. Uh, um, I can show you our presentation. So let's share here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hello, everyone. It's uh, so nice to be here with you, uh, especially that Poland is joining for the first time uh, at this uh, educational affair. So we are very glad to be here with you. So the topic is technology that works for EU. Um, and I'm a representative of Technical University. So Silesian University of Technology is a purely technical university, uh, which is located in the south of Poland region called Silesia. That's why the name uh, is Silesia University of Technology. And uh, we are one of 10 uh, research universities uh, in Poland, uh, which uh, also makes us uh, very proud of uh, this success. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, our, um, a bit of our history. Uh, we are quite uh, experienced uh, university with over 70 years of history now. We are a public university. Uh, and what's uh, very important is that we are located, as I mentioned, the south of Poland. Uh, and south of Poland, uh, we call it here, is the very industrial heart of the country. So in very industrialized area with uh, loads and loads of technology uh, around. And uh, here in our uh, region, we also have one of the largest uh, 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 special economic zones uh, uh, which are uh, in Europe and uh, all over, uh, also in the world. And the special economic zones uh, answer the question of our candidates, of our students. What do we do after our studies? So here in Silesia, um, in the south of Poland, in our university, it's a perfect match of uh, the university and, uh, and the region. Yes, so um, the region needs our engineers and our engineers uh, uh, are happy to have hands-on experience during their studies. Uh, so here, a bit of our university in numbers. Uh, so uh, we, we have about 18 and a half thousand of students, uh, more than 200,000 of our students already graduated from the university throughout the history. Uh, we, sorry, we don't have much time to go into details, so maybe let's go to uh, crucial information, um, which uh, is the presentation of our faculties. So here on the screen, we have um, all the faculties uh, uh, which are available at our university. So as you can see, most of them are uh, very much uh, technical, uh, concentrated on uh, technology. Uh, so maybe I'll leave that with you and talk a little bit about um, the industrial zone. So uh, the university very closely cooperates with uh, our industry, uh, regional industry, and not, also, not only regional, because there are also huge international uh, companies located in this special economic zone in our region. So um, there is... Um, Two minutes. Uh, two minutes. Okay, so let's uh, speed up. Um, we also, um, here you can see some uh, bachelor programs, master programs, uh, and of course we offer uh, also doctorate uh, status um, in our joint doctoral school. Uh, our academic year starts in October, so today is the inauguration ceremony of new academic year at the university, uh, uh, a big uh, ceremony. We very much concentrate on the research in technology, so we have some uh, 
research centers at the university. So yes, uh, this is about the cooperation with the business environment. And here in the photograph, you can see this huge industrial zone, uh, which is located very close to our university, with whom the university uh, cooperates very closely. And the students during their studies uh, um, can have their internship, uh, apprenticeship at this, uh, uh, low, uh, low, uh, at this international big special economic zone. Um, they can also enter into dual status uh, where they uh, cooperate with uh, students uh, cooperate with the industry during their status and help the industry, a specific industry solve a pro problem and work their master thesis or master thesis at the end. So it's a perfect match for our students, for the industry, for the technology development here. Yes, a few words about dual status uh, and the cooperation with the industry and um, joint doctoral school also is available at our university. Student life is very rich. Uh, we don't only concentrate on uh, education, also sport, there is sports life and many other uh, a lot of uh, things going on. A lot of many student uh, scientific associations who participate. I'm sorry, in time is up. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Okay. okay let's stop, Thank stop you very much, Joanne. And we're going to move forward on to our next speaker. We're going to have Mr. Liam Ryan from the University of Limerick, Ireland. Thanks, Randy, and thanks, Joanna. Very, very informative, uh, and, and time is quite, quite short, so I will uh, try and get yes. through mine as best I can. So um, you're very welcome. So I'm with the University of Limerick in Ireland. So just to give a brief introduction to, to the university and, and to give an introduction for technology that works for you. So Ireland is uh, known as the Silicon Valley of Europe. So a quick introduction to, to the country. So we're an English-speaking country in the EU. So uh, after Brexit, one of the only um, main English speaking countries that, that uh, use English every day. Um, it's also home of the fastest growing economy in Europe. Uh, so we have a huge number of uh, EU headquarters for many large multinational companies, particularly in the areas of technology, computer science, pharmaceuticals, medical devices and financial services. Um, so we do have quite quite a, a range of companies, and I'll go through those in more detail. Uh, so the technology piece is not just in education, but also in postgraduate work as well. Uh, the cost of education is subsidized by the Irish government. So uh, as an international student from the Philippines, uh, the cost of education is not as, as high as it would be in USA, UK, Australia and Canada and so on. A brief introduction to the university. So we call it UL, um, but University of Limerick. Uh, it's a public government university in Ireland. We are ranked in the top 100 young universities in the world by QS and Times Higher Education. And we pride ourselves on two things in particular. So the first thing is we put a huge amount of work and effort into career preparation and graduate employability. Uh, and we were happy to be rated number three in Europe by QS for career preparation. Um, and the other thing we focus on is the student experience and student happiness. So in 2019, I suppose the last normal uh, kind of university year, uh, we were rated number one in the world for international student experience. So you get a huge amount of support and help um, to be a, a student here in the university. We are a comprehensive university. So we have uh, four large faculties arranged into 19 schools. Um, each of these offer bachelor's, master's and PhD programs and our most popular courses would be in the area of engineering, uh, in computer science and information systems and then our school of business as well is, is very, uh, very highly ranked. Um, ACSB, AMBAS and Equus accredited, so in the top kind of 1% of business schools in the world uh, and very much focused on fintech and, and the, 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 the meeting of, of, of business and technology. What makes UL distinctive? So we have the largest internship program in Europe. So we have a compulsory eight month paid internship organized by the university for all undergraduate students. So every single undergrad student will do a, an, a full eight month paid internship. Uh, our degrees are designed by industry for industry. So all of our tech companies that we work with 
uh, feedback information every year and we design our companies basically with uh, technology, cutting edge um, processes and so on in mind. Uh, there's amazing post-work opportunities and visas. So students get an automatic stay back visa to work in Ireland after you finish. So study here, but also work. Just some of the industry clusters for technology. So we have nine of the top 10 global ICT companies, uh, eight of the top 10 gaming companies, um, 15 of the top 20 medical device companies, and 50% of the world's leading financial services firms based their European headquarters here in Ireland. So it's technology that you can work, work with and it works for you. Just a sample of some of the companies that we work with on our internship program. So Apple, Amazon, Accenture, um, Cisco, Dell, Intel, Microsoft. Uh, so these are all some of the companies that you get the opportunity to do. Thank you. Uh, so to engage with during your uh, during your studies, but also opportunities to work with uh, as well. So um, we have strong partnerships with all of these companies in terms of uh, research projects, uh, joint joint collaborative projects, and also internships also. Working after studies. So this is quite an important part uh, of, of, of working, a technology working for you. So students get a, a 12 or 24 month stay back visa to work in Ireland. So 12 months after a bachelor's, 24 months after a, a master's. Uh, and that's an automatic, the university is your, your visa sponsor for that part. Uh, and then you enter into the Careers Connect service. So one-to-one -one counseling and assistance for job searching. Um, our average graduate salary is approximately 35,000 euros per year. Uh, and 97% of graduates are in employment within six months uh, or, or further studies. For longer duration stays, so we do get students that want to stay in Ireland uh, longer than the two years. So you can apply for a tier two visa at that stage. You must be in a full-time role. I'm sorry, Liam, but time is up. Thank Perfect. You Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Liam, for that very informative uh, presentation from Ireland, Limerick, uh, Limerick uh, University of Limerick. And now we are going to move forward with the presentation of one of the universities in Germany, uh, Ms. Anna Pohm from University of Hildesheim. Yeah, good morning and thank you for having me. Um, it is great to see so many colleagues from Europe and to hear and listen to their presentations. So I would love to introduce the University of Hildesheim. Um, the University of Hildesheim is located in the north of Germany and we are rather a small university. Um, we have about 8,500 students. So you're gonna meet people um, easily. You're gonna be um, in contact with your professors and lecturers. They know you by name. So this is a good thing about being a smaller university. We're located in the north of Germany. Um, we have a lot of world heritage sites. So it's worth visiting and um, traveling around. It's a, Germany is a very safe country with a large economy. Um, so a good place where you can study abroad. And um, we are not a campus university. So our um, campus is a little spread all over the city, but you get a public bus ticket and you can use the bus, you can go everywhere by bike. So you will um, settle down easily, I'm sure you will. So at the university, as I mentioned already, you will have a lot of individual support for your studies. Um, we offer bachelor, master and PhD programs. And in every of our bachelor programs, you have an internship included. So you will gain professional experience and you will get in touch with them, local companies. For example, in all over computer science programs, you will be sent out to a company we are cooperating with and there's always a supervisor from the university. So um, you do not have to do much to get an internship and to find a job right after graduation. Um, so our idea is that we're going to do applied research, um, that you're going to work on your own projects and that you're going to do your own research here at university. Um, you're going to be a part of a member of the university and you can decide on things and you can select your courses according to your needs and interests. Um, yeah, and we have a lot of international students from many countries in the world, and we still, we have um, some English taught programs, 
but they're very interesting as well. So for example, we have um, one program um, in global information management, which is a bachelor program, a three years program taught in English. And we have a computer science program. Um, and I would love, because we do not have much time as I heard, I would love to tell you a bit more about our computer science program. So it's a two years master. It's completely taught in English and it's, and it's in the field of data analytics. So um, in Germany, we have a lack of talented people. There's need for computer scientists. And in nowadays business world, um, we need people who can manage big data. So if you studied in the Philippines, computer science uh, or mathematics, um, then you're welcome to join our master's degree. Our program is concentrating on machine learning, um, on big data analytics. Um, you're gonna take seminars, you're gonna learn programming as well and pro um, programming languages. And you have um, an internship opportunity. So many international students are studying this program and immediately within the program, they get um, internship offers or job opportunities. So many of our international students are not only working in Hildesheim, a small German city, but they're going to um, work online for companies in Berlin, in Munich, or in Berlin, and they easily get a job right after graduation, which is great news, I think, for many of you. Yeah, we are closely cooperating with companies. So there's, for example, the car um, uh, industry. So we organize visits for students. You're going to visit, for example, um, VW, the car company and located in Wolfsburg close by and you get hands on experience on current research topics. Afterwards, you can decide. So we offer a plenty of PhD positions in this field as well. So if you want to pursue a scientific career, you can do your PhD over with us at the university. But of course, I can understand because, um, yeah, you get, you're well paid after graduation if you decide to, to go for a company somewhere. So, um, and I'm sorry, it's already time. Okay, so as there's no German required, I think it's a good opportunity if you want to move to Europe and to start working over here. So hope to see you soon in Hildesheim. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anna. And finally, we're moving forward to our last speaker from Hungary, uh, from the University of Pannonia, Dr. Thomas Rosenbersk. Hi, everyone. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, okay, perfect. Just a moment. Okay, thank you. So hi, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, I have a bit uh, a different presentation, but I, I hope it will be clear and uh, enjoyable for you as well. So let me start my presentation. I am a research fellow in the Research Center for Biochemical, Environmental and Chemical Engineering at the University of Pannonia, Hungary. And um, we have a research group as well. This is the research group on bioengineering, membrane technology and energetics. Uh, on, the, on the right side, you can see what we do, what we are focusing on exactly. For example, enzymatic reactions, ionic liquids, waste utilization, fermentation and uh, membrane technology technologies and so on and uh, and but uh, in the the short in my short presentation I would like to give you some some uh, insights for example the biodegradation uh, techniques but before I I uh, it gives you some words just uh, let me give you some uh, background information about about this topic so as you may know, the, the word, the waste and wastewater treatment is a still challenging problem nowadays, and not just in Europe, but uh, in uh, all around the world, of course. And just imagine that during uh, this short presentation on the more than 50,000 tons of household waste generated worldwide, 
So we need to create them. And unfortunately, the environmental protection point of view, the most part of the waste uh, created with uh, the non-preferable waste, such as waste dumping or landfilling. Uh, however, a significant part of uh, the house waste uh, is organic matter, organic rich matter, which is biodegradable. So we need to find alternative to solve the, the challenges of increasing waste generation, the generations and energy needs. And, uh, and our, in our uh, research group, we are focusing on uh, these, these topics, for example. So there are anaerobic di digestion uh, technologies. Uh, I will show you three of them. And you can see one is the biogas uh, production or uh, anaerobic digestion. This uh, this technique we can uh, with this technique we can produce biogas with the methane content and we can, it is useful for us because we can burn it and we can uh, get uh, heat or or electricity. The the other way is the dark fermentation and with this method we can produce biohydrogen and this is very promising for the future uh, transportation. Uh, as you may know, the, the, the hydrogen fuel cells technology. And the last one is very interesting and promising for the future as well. This is a relatively new uh, bioelectric chemical uh, system. This is a microbial fuel cell. And uh, with this method, we can uh, produce, uh, uh, we can uh, convert uh, chemical energy directly into electricity. So it's very interesting uh, field. And here you can see the, the simple shame of, of, the, of this device. So it contains three uh, main parts. One of them you can see on the left hand side is an uh, anaerobic chamber. This is uh, anaerobic so there are no oxygen because there works the bacteria and uh, they oxidize the organic materials and generate electrons, photons and other ions. The electrons can flow through an external circuit to the cathode chamber. This is the second main part, the cathode chamber. This is a aerobic uh, chamber. And at the same time, protons or, or electrons can too. The third part is a, a ionic exchange membrane. So they can uh, move through the membranes to form simple water. So there are electrons, protons, and ions and form just simple water. So uh, here it is, we can, we can uh, produce uh, electrons or electricity from organic uh, waste materials. Uh, so we are focusing uh, currently this uh, technology. We are quite good uh, in this field. We have a lot of uh, publications about the- A minute about this and uh, thank you and um, in a high quality research papers so shortly i hope it was uh, it was enjoyable for you if you have any question or, or need more information about uh, our facilities or or, in, uh, or um, the parts of the university just visit our uh, virtual bus and uh, and visit our website so uh, Jen, thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Thomas Rosenberg, for that very uh, informative presentation about your program in your university, in the University of Pannonia. And with that, we're going to have our question and answer. So there is a brief question here. Actually, it's actually a form of request from our participant. They are asking if they could possibly have the link of the slideshow of the University of Limerick, if that can be provided here on the chat box. So they would be happy to have that. Yeah. So I'm going to have uh, several questions here uh, before the Q&A. So they are actually um, uh, asking if they can have a copies of all the files used in the webinar, if that could be possible. I think that would be arranged, but not to you, but by the organizer and secretariat. But the most important thing that would, we would like to ask is that in case that uh, a particular applicant is accepted in your university, are there any restrictions regarding COVID-19 pandemic? Is vaccine necessary before they can be accepted into the program? Who's that directed to? Is that to everybody or? Yes, to anybody. Yes, sir. 
so ju- just to, just to speak about Ireland currently, um, so there there's no requirement on vaccination uh, for for students to, to travel, uh, but there would normally be kind of a period of self isolation. So students can can come in. Uh, they would do a five day self isolation period, uh, and then would need to show a negative PCR test, so a, a kind of a, a COVID test. Uh, once that's complete, then they can they can join on campus classes as normal. So there's there's no um, no obligation to get vaccinated, but uh, obviously we do recommend people. Uh, and then students, if they're not vaccinated when they arrive in Ireland, they can register for a walk in walk in vaccination here uh, on arrival. Thank you very much. So, so you same rules in Germany, same rules apply, and people can get tested free of charge at the moment. So. So thank you very much. I think uh, applicants from the Philippines will be very happy to hear that because uh, it's something that really hinders the application of others. Maybe some of them may not continue because of this uh, particular problem. So another question that we have here, actually, it, is, it has been mentioned by Ms. Anna Pong regarding individual support in their university. Can you further elaborate on that, the individual support that you're going to provide for every student in your university. So can we have additional information about it? I think you're, we're you're having here. some audio problem, Miss Anna. So I hope you can hear me now. Now, yes, we can. Perfect. I'm happy to tell you more about the support we're going to provide. So from the application or even before we provide um, video conferences. So sometimes it's hard to get the right information and to know how to apply. So people can just contact us. We're going to do a video call and uh, we're going to help them finding accommodation, which is really important, I think. Um, Accommodation in Hildesheim, as it is a smaller city, is not that expensive and there are still places available also in dorms. We have a lot of um, student dorms. And um, then when it comes to studying, I think and the most important is to attend the welcome week. During the welcome week, you have German classes, um, you have um, support sessions to do your timetable, you have a city tour. So. Um, um, if you need support, there's your tutors who are going to give individual support. Um, and um, this is a very first important step, I think, to settle down. During your studies, you have your academic supervisor. Um, if you have any questions related to your study program, and if you have any questions related to daily life, then you come to the international office and then they can help you with visa issues, for example, with um, city registration. And um, I'm, I'm sure you're going to find quickly your network, your friends, and then it's going smoothly. Thank you very much. So this next question will be directed to all of uh, all of our speakers. Uh, I believe that there are scholarship opportunities available in your university. Can you give please uh, give a brief information about how they could access information about these scholarship opportunities in case they would like to study in your university under scholarship? If you could answer it, question each of you. So I'd be I'd be glad to uh, to tell a bit more about our Pro Quality Scholarship uh, Program. Um, as I'm the person who ba- um, basically uh, is responsible for this uh, program, um, so the Pro Quality Scholarship is available to our non-EU students, which uh, of course is applicable here. And here uh, in the chat box, I put a link to our Padlet uh, Padlet um, information pack for candidates, and here you will find all the details. So basically, the Pro Quality Scholarship is offered uh, to our uh, good candidates who had very good results in the previous place of education, and they can prove it, of course. And how they can prove it, it's very, um, very uh, is described in details in. Um, in this Padlet information. Uh, You can also visit our booth so I can discuss uh, with our candidates uh, in detail as well. So it's basically possible at the start, at the beginning of the education uh, to acquire a scholarship, uh, which uh, will cover approximately three semesters of uh, education. Uh, at our university, which is quite, quite, quite helpful. Uh, and uh, uh, candidates, yes, are very eager to, to obtain it. 
So um, yeah, the, the, the rules are quite specific, uh, not so complicated. Basically, they need to be good students uh, ah. before they come to our university. That's, so that's good. It. That's good to know. That's good to know. That's good yeah. to know. Yes. So just yeah, you can visit our booth. We'll discuss in detail. Three Thank minutes you. left. Three minutes left. Thank you. And uh, also, there is a question here that asks uh, about a specific data about data analytics program. I think it's Ms. Anna Pong that mentioned the data analytics program in their university. Can you give additional information? Because they are in one of our participants is interested with that. I'm sorry, I haven't got the question. So was the question about the language requirements for data analytics? Uh, uh, that is another question. They are also asking for uh, language. Is there any language requirement uh, in your university? And at the same time, they would like to know more information about data analytics program in your university. Okay, so um, let me start maybe with the English requirements. So we um, require, for example, a TOEFL, English test, um, 61 points or more. Um, but if you've studied an English taught degree in your home country, then we need a certificate or a statement of your university that your degree has been taught in English. And then okay. you can upload this as a document um, to prove that you have sufficient language skills. And German is not required for, um, for applying, yeah. Um, so maybe I can once again share my screen, but give me a minute so then I can maybe show you the program and you can see in more detail the courses. I hope this is going to work. Okay. Um, so you should see the courses. It's a four semester program. Um, can I just have a short feedback? Can you see the courses now? It's a little bit small, but it's small, I think but it's you can, good, okay. good to that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's good now. Okay, I will send you the link to the flyer maybe. So in, in Europe, you have the European credit transfer system. So you have to do 120 credits um, in total for the program. And if you do that in full time, you're gonna, it's gonna take you um, two years. And in the first year, you have modules such as machine learning, modern optimization techniques and um, programming. And then you have seminars. Um, the seminars are very interesting, I think, because you're gonna discuss and, and do your own project. So um, you're gonna design programs, for example, with other students. And this is a really helpful task for your future career because you're gonna do your own projects as well. So you have to start learning that at some point. Ms. Yeah, Anna, and you're going you to continue much, with um, I think... advanced courses. And um, if you want to know more, just let me know. I sent you the Yes, flyer. please. We would like to request all of you to send uh, information to our participants regarding the admission policy, other requirements from your university, because it seems that there are so many participants who are very eager to know about this. And they would like, I think, to apply or take the chance to apply apply in your university as a scholar or maybe as a student in the undergrad, in the graduate, and of course, in the postgraduate level. So thank you very much for your time, for your presentation. And I really enjoy this time together with you. We have learned a lot about your universities and it's good to note that uh, you provide a lot of support to our uh, would-be uh, scholars and would-be students uh, here in the Philippines going to your university. And with that, I would like to thank our participants as well for joining us in this uh, uh, pull pack 30 minutes of of, uh, informative discussions about uh, the different universities that we have met, uh, that we have uh, encountered today. So I think with that, we're going to close our program. Thank you very much. And thank you for your participation in the Virtual European Higher Education Fair 2021 technology that works for you. And I think it will really work for us. And Hopefully, some of us will be able to join you in your university. Maraming salamat mula sa Pilipinas. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you. Thank you.